So you guys know how I have been nonstop complaining about travel anxiety and how I have not been able to sleep. And I kind of have that baseline anyway. I have trouble sleeping anyway, but the travel anxiety is just really put a whole new meaning behind it. Well, I wanted to tell you guys that I kind of lucked out because I had forgotten. So when you have a YouTube channel, sometimes brands will watch your channel and then they'll reach out to you. You know, they'll send you an email and they, they'll say, do you want to try this product? Do you, you want to give us your opinion on this product? That type of thing. So I had told this company, eTech City, that I would be interested in hearing about and trying out their white noise machine. Well, I told them probably a month ago to send it to the hotel here where I'm staying. And honestly, you guys, I forgot about it. So guess what? When I got here, it was here. So I've been using it. And you know what? Truthfully, it's working. I really like it. I have another white noise machine, but I don't like it because it, I don't know, the way, how I want to describe it is it sounds kind of like artificial is maybe a good way to describe it. It's just the the sound is kind of tinny. That is not the case with this one. It really is good sound. And I use my Pandora a lot with it because I love my Pandora. But I'll put, I've been using the campfire sound or um, rainwater sound. And I really like it. It really helps me. So I, I wanted to tell you guys about it. So I'm going to show you. So here it is. I wanted to show this to you next to my diffuser, which I also brought with me to try to help me sleep. But I wanted to put it next to that so you could get an idea of scale. And also, that's the essential oil. So that kind of gives you an idea of how small and portable it is. So I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, I don't think you really can. But it is a clock. It's also an alarm clock as well, and it connects to your Bluetooth. So sometimes at night I play my Pandora music on it. I like to play like my, um, what do you call that, the flute. I think it's a recorder with guitar music. That kind of helps. So I don't know if you guys can hear this. I'll stop talking a minute. That's obviously rain. thunderstorm. I'm trying to make it a little louder. There we go. That's one of my favorites right there. Anyway, they have several different sounds crickets, um, campfire, fireplace crackling. I really like this. Um, I do have a coupon for you guys that I'm going to link. My sister bought one and because she travels all the time with her job. So she stays in hotels literally on a seven-day work week. She's probably in a hotel five nights a week. And she told me she absolutely loves it because it's so small. She'll charge it, so you see it kind of connects to a USB. You don't have to leave it plugged in. You can just charge it and take it wherever you want to. So she absolutely loves it. She said sometimes she just use it, it, uses it as background noise. So I wanted to show it to you guys because it is actually helping my problem with insomnia. I cannot sleep in dead silence, but if I turn a television on, it's even worse because then you have the lights. So anyway, wanted to show that to you guys. I will link it below. I would definitely recommend it because it's working for me. I just had breakfast and I don't have good news for you guys, but you know, we keep it real here on this channel because it's real life. And I know you guys go through the same exact things that I go through. So I dropped Kevin off early this morning at his friend's house because he's going boating. And I'm not gonna go because 
his friend has kind of like a small boat. And let's face it, I'm going to ruin everybody's time because I'm probably going to get like panicky and then I'll want to leave and that isn't fair to everybody else. Okay. So I dropped him off and I thought, I'm going to do a little bit of research that I need to do and I'm going to have a good breakfast. So let's just say this, okay? By the time I left my luxurious, relaxing, by myself breakfast, I get 23 points a day, right? I was 29 points in at 8.30 in the morning. So today, I have to have the rest of the day is zero points. I'm loaded on my ice water, but today is going to be a zero point day. And I have to stick to it because you guys, you know what I did? Now, this was bad timing, of course, but I was feeling bad, and I was trying to convince myself, like, I had to do it, okay? After I ate 29 points for the morning, I weighed myself, and I am up six pounds. Now, I know that a little of that is probably, like, what I ate, water weight, whatever, but I mean a little, like, two pounds. I am definitely up, and it is not the fault of this hotel it is not the fault of breakfast. It is the three o'clock fault where I get hungry and I eat bad or I eat too much. So I know I've been saying that a lot and that makes me feel kind of bad, but you know, we're all human and this is a journey and we're going to be at this for a while. So today I am bumming around by myself with my ice water with you guys, and I plan to kill it. You know, before I go in, I thought I'd mention to you guys how I had so many points, like what I did wrong to cause that, um, because I started thinking, well, I would want to know where she blew it. So, Fine on the eggs, fine on the salsa. I didn't do any cheese, but I had two pieces of sausage, like patties, and they had them switched. It, the pork and the turkey swapped in the little containers. And I, and I knew better, you guys. I, you can tell the difference between turkey and pork. As soon as I took one bite, I knew that they had done that because you could just taste sort of the fat and the grease. And I should have stopped eating and went and switched them out. But I didn't because I haven't had pork sausage. I can't even, like a year and a half, I haven't had it. I don't eat it because it is so high in points. So that was eight points right there, the two pieces that I had. And I should have stopped there, but I didn't because I'm so easily triggered. You guys know the waffle machine. You know what I'm talking about, that they have at hotels. You pour the stuff in and you make it yourself. I made one of those and I did use the sugar-free syrup, but when I calculated it and I was, real, I was realistic with myself, I used a quarter cup of the sugar-free smucker syrup. So I know I did because they have these little Dixie cups and I, I can gauge it. Um, so that was bad. That was pretty high points. Even though it's sugar-free, it's still, you still got a decent amount of points in that. And then the waffle, um, to my best guess, that was 10 points. So, you know, that's how I blew it. And I just can't repeat that. So I've been saying to myself, was that worth it? And you know what? No, I could have been just as happy with something else. But, you know, everybody else is up there making the waffles and they smell like vanilla. And I haven't had one for so long. And I was having a good time having some hot coffee by myself. And, you know, sometimes you just blow it. I can accept that, but I can't keep doing it because it's going to keep showing on the scale. So anyway, that's my confession. 
Here's our dinner tonight. Nothing unusual on the menu, you guys. Corn on the cob, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes. Here's our Ken's Thousand Island Light, and Kevin loves this Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. And some chopped peppers, and then our foil pet chicken, always consistently good. What'd you put on it today, Kevin? Dollars. Let's see. He put this one. So that's going to be dinner. And that should come in for me at zero points, unless I break down and have a little bit of this salad dressing, which I might. I'm not sure. But it will only be one point because I'll do one tablespoon. 